Hey designers, Figma got a 2022 auto layout update. It got really powerful. I'll show you examples of what have changed and how it applies to real world situations. The first thing is UI and interface changes for the auto layout. You can see that the auto layout menu on the right side looks a bit different. And when you hover over your auto layout design, you can see that some of the spacing is highlighted. And you can actually move the padding as you want right on the design and also for the spacing. Before you needed to go to the menu on the right side and input what you wanted, but now you could just do it right away on your designs. Now this would save a lot of time. Also, you could just click on the little bar here and input what you want. This is my preferred method. And also the resizing could be manipulated really easily right from the design. Before you needed to go to the menu and change the fill or the hug uh, resizings. But now you could just double click on the sizing and it changes. And if you press the option and then double click, it goes to fill or you could just change the size and it will be a fixed size. One other big change is that now the resizing is now in the frame menu. So if you're looking for this, it's on the frame, not in the auto layout menu. The next big change for auto layout is absolute positioning. Before when you wanted to maybe put this close button inside an auto layout, then it wasn't that easy because you needed to create a frame, for example, or use a hacky method to do so. So I'll show you. If I just wanted to place it here, then it is affected by the auto layout. But now you could go to the menu and press this absolute position button. Then it's taken out from the auto layout, but still inside the auto layout frame. So you could just place it as you want, maybe a bit higher, like so. And then it would live inside the auto layout still, but you could use the constraints to position it. I'll have it right and top positioned. Then if I want to resize it like so, it works as intended. Another example using absolute position is this timeline. For this timeline, I have this timeline component stacked right here. And then if I increase the text, you could see that the line increases and decreases as I want. So how did I achieve that? So I have this text and little circle inside the auto layout, but this line here, the horizontal line, it's in absolute positioning. And then I aligned it to the left and constrained it to the top and bottom. So because the auto layout increases the height of the frame and it's constrained to the top and bottom, it'll increase in size automatically. Now let's look into negative spacing. So before you cannot apply negative spacing for the spacing inside the auto layout, and you could just go to zero, meaning that it would be just like this. But if I want them to stack, I could actually go to the minus. So maybe minus 150, then you could have it stacked like this. If I want this car to go to the back, I could change it by the canvas stacking last on top. Then you could see that the order changes like so. Another example would be when you have a layout and you want to overlap with this. So if I apply auto layout here, you could see that it's zero here. And usually if you want to overlap it, you need to detach it from the auto layout. But now you could say that I want to overlap it and have it as a position like so, maybe minus 36. I could achieve that really easily with negative spacing. The last thing I'll show you is truncate text. So when you have some designs and you want them to truncate, meaning that you want to show a limited amount of text, you could go to the text menu here and then say truncate text. Then you could see that it is reduced and it applies to the auto layout, which you could increase the width and you could see that it decreases as the sizing changes. So I have another example here with this card and I already have a lot of text inside and truncate is already applied. And you could see that when I increase the size, like so, 
the hidden text is shown and then if I decrease it, it is truncated. There's more things to auto layout and if you want to find out more about this, you could go to the Figma Auto Layout Playground and try it for yourself. I'll leave the link in the description below. So be sure to subscribe and support the channel and see you next time. Bye!